Hey, what's going on, everybody? Christian Ballard, Ballard Sports Media, coming at you with another season preview as we continue with season previews for the 2023 college football season. And again, it, it's still too early to really determine. I mean, we still got a whole off season of transfers and, um, you know, Still got signing day in February. You still got uh, the the whole off season to go, but we do like to predict and give an early assessment as to what teams can do uh, in the regular season, possibly next season. So uh, we're gonna keep it rolling here. We got the Auburn Tigers um, who come in. Below 500 last season, five and seven, a lot of QB drama. They fired Harson early. You know, you had TJ Finley was the go-to guy um, to start. And, of course, he comes in from uh, LSU. Then there's a switch. Um uh, Maybe Zach Calzada, I, I know he transferred in from from uh, Texas A&M. Um, you know, he comes in. TJ Finley gets hurt three months ago, um, you know, and uh, was supposed to travel with the team uh, but did not uh, for the matchup against Ole Miss. He's ruled out. And then there's a quarterback switch to Robbie Ashford, which if you ask me, with Robbie Ashford and then the coaching of Carnell Williams, Cadillac Williams, a former running back for Auburn, became the interim coach after they fired Harson. Um, it kind of turned things around. It gave Auburn a spark. And even though they did go 5-7, and seven, they, at the end of it all, they had a good way to close out the year in, in, in some some cases. I mean, they beat Texas A&M. Um, you look back early on, they did get wins over Missouri. Um, but uh, they, they put 27 points up in the Iron Bowl at Bryant-Denny. Um, at least on paper, it looked bad, but... Truly, it looked like they were in that game a little bit. They fought hard. They competed. Um, got a close win over the Aggies. I mean, on paper, it looks bad. <laughs> but you could tell that, if anything, Carnell Williams, Cadillac Williams, um, he brought some life into the Auburn program that wasn't there when Harson was. Now they got a new head coach, though, in Hugh Freeze. Uh, 2023 Auburn season preview here at Ballard Sports Media. Let's go ahead and, uh, speaking of, let's go ahead. I want to make this one quick. Dive into their actual schedule. So, right out the gate, um, they get it pretty easy. UMass um, at California. Uh, Samford at Texas A&M. That's where they open up SEC play. Uh, Georgia at home early on. They get a bye week. Then they get a tough stretch here. At LSU, Ole Miss, Mississippi State, Vanderbilt, at Arkansas, New Mexico State, and then they host the Iron Bowl, the biggest rivalry in college football, at least what I believe, with my Alabama Crimson Tide. First thing right off the bat, you could go ahead and make an assessment um, that they're going to win a game like Sanford. They're going to win a game like UMass. Cal California last season – let me pull this up. They did not do good at all. Um, I mean, they were one of the worst teams out there. They went four and eight. They went two and seven in the Pac-12. Um, you know, they lost 
Uh, I mean, they beat Arizona. That's something, I guess. But you lose to Colorado. You lose to Oregon State. You lose to Oregon. You lose to to, to Washington and USC. Uh, not that those are all bad losses, but, I mean... Now, I'll give them some credit, though. Cal, Cal has great offense, actually. I mean, they, they hung in there with USC. Um, they hung in there with Washington. They hung in there with UCLA. So maybe... If there's a turnaround, I guess looking at it now, because I don't, I don't really study California Golden Bears. I, I, I really don't. It's on the road. Maybe they're not as bad of a team as we think, and this could be a trap for Auburn. I didn't put it on my trap list, but looking at it now, considering how they were able to compete in some of their games. Watch out for California on the road. If it's at Auburn, that's one thing. Um, they get them on the road, though, early on. And I think teams have momentum when it comes to early games like that. Samford, they should win, no problem. Texas A&M, you get into SEC play. On the road at Kyle Field, that could be a tough game. That could also be a trap. Uh, trap games are games where you probably should win, but if you're not careful, you could lose the game. I don't think Georgia is a trap. I, I don't think they're supposed to win that. That's a possible upset. In fact, I'll go ahead and give you three possible upsets this year. These three teams, Georgia, Bama, LSU, are the three teams that I think are the true upsets, the games that they should lose. But if Auburn plays their cards right, they they could grab an extra win in there. They probably could. New Mexico State after Arkansas, give me a break. Come on now. Um, maybe be careful about Mississippi State. We'll have to see what they do. Uh, rest in peace to um, to Mike Leach. Um, and uh, it's uh, – man, I, I still kind of, uh, kind of miss Mike Leach. I think we all do. They got Zach Arnett currently as their head football coach. Um, so we'll see what he does. He was on staff. I don't really know much about him. I just know he was on staff, and he's been there um, quite a while. So hopefully he can do something um, and make the Pirate proud. Vanderbilt, could they improve? Maybe. I still think Auburn's a better team. Arkansas, on the road. Arkansas can give teams a fit and can give them a fit at home. That's a trap game. Not necessarily an upset if Auburn gets the victory, but, you know, um, I I don't know. I, I think that, I mean, I, I'll go ahead and give you this. I do have Auburn with the 8-4 and four record, and I think that's a good start for Hugh Freeze. I really do. Their losses, I'm going to say they drop Texas A&M in a close one. I think they drop Georgia at LSU and at Arkansas. Vanderbilt, Mississippi State, New Mexico State, Ole Miss at home. If you lose to LSU, you could bounce back and pull a win there. I'll tell you what. Um, I, the Iron Bowl at Jordan Hare, no matter how the season has been, um, it's crazy. It's a crazy atmosphere. It's a tough rivalry game. 
And I know what you're saying. Alabama will be fine. They shouldn't lose to Auburn. No, they shouldn't. But I do want to kind of correlate each of these videos with another. And I did pick Alabama 11-1. and one, And I said if they drop any game, it might be Hugh Freeze, who has beaten Nick Saban twice. Go back to his time in Ole Miss. Um, if Alabama drops a game somewhere, most likely it could be to Auburn. The Iron Bowl's at Jordan Hare this year. Tough environment, probably going to be packed out for Hugh Freeze's first Iron Bowl, a tough crowd. It's going to be rocking. That being said, I do have Auburn 8 and 4. Like I mentioned before, I want to get your uh, thoughts on Auburn this year, what they could look like. Do you agree with the record? Maybe I got the record right, but I got the losses wrong. Um, let me know. Just let me know in the comments. I love you guys. Jesus loves you. He's got a great plan. Please like, comment, and subscribe right here to Ballard Sports Media for more sports content. And until next time, folks, Ballard Sports Media, signing off. I love y'all. Good luck to Auburn this year.